almost locked out your pelvis. Yeah. You've locked out and put a lot of pressure on that lower spine because you've tilted your pelvis this way, right? And so then that's why your swing, including a little bit of that grip, was this, for lack of a better description, yeah. Yeah. right? Whereas now we've gone, right, adopt as close to standing posture as we can get to. And as soon as you've kind of done that, you can feel your core, and this really tighten, right? So then when you're here, you're now in a position as well where the pelvis isn't locked out and it allows you mobility to just move and rotate through backswing without going like this. You now, without even thinking or diagnosing it, not diagnosing it, without giving it a lot of attention, you've instantly gone, oh, well, I can turn now. I'm not locked out so I can move like this, yeah? It's all, this is engaged. You're now turning through that rib cage, through core in the takeaway. You're really rotating into a great position, which is why, and as well, the little grip change that we've done as well, which is why we're seeing those higher shots that go out there, you know, at least double the distance to what we were seeing before. And you should be hitting it how far you were, okay? There's a lot that we could do from setup that will influence movement mechanics through the rest of the swing. And for you, you're almost locking off all your movement with all the variables that were in play. Feet were turned in, 